Hey everyone, it's your Crafter Chris Share back for another video. Yes, I am at home. Um, I am at home for the weekend, and I figured I would do a regular video here, um, because you haven't seen my kit for a while. Uh, if you were on earlier today, you would have seen the video I posted of Nala, because you haven't seen her for a while. Well, here's my kid. Look. It's okay. Here he is. You're not gonna show your face. Alright. Well, you can see his tail. Um, he doesn't like to be picked up, so. So yeah, as you can see, he doesn't like it at all. Um, this, I uh, just, I don't even know, I think episode 157, I think, I did get my hair cut, um, it's a mess right now, I've been having it up because it's been so hot, um, Tuesday, I am going to get highlights in it, or a frost, or whatever, and I'm really excited about it. But, huh. yeah. So, today, um, all I have for you are finished objects. Um, after I do this video, I'm going to start some new ones. And, um, I actually forgot one. Um, so, hang on, I will be, I'm just gonna go right over there. And, as you can see, I'm back. Um, and he's gonna be in the video, I guess, today. Huh. So, like I said, I have all finished objects today. I am going to show you, um, well, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna show you the yarn that I am going to use for them. Um... By the time this video goes up, it might be after, um, I have designed a pattern. It is my Rose's, it's my great, my Graham's name is Rose, the one I live with. And I designed a blanket after her, and I was going to call it Rose Regal's Mini Sampler, but I decided to take the Regal out and just call it Rose's Mini Sampler Blanket. Um, it has three stitches in it. The Granny Cluster Stitch, a V-Stitch, and the Bead Stitch. So, I will show that and I will give you um, kind of more details when I get to that. Um, uh, like I said, I think that's it. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and um, get started with... Um, my finished objects and then go to what I'm going to be starting next. Lay down. You want a licky before mama gets started? Alright, hang on. Mama has to kind of reach. And I got one. Oh, my wrist, man. He um, likes these. They are soft pate. Um, I used to get him the little hard ones, but he is going to be 16 next month. Actually on my pap's birthday. And he can't really um, eat the hard ones anymore. So we buy him these and he seems to like them a lot and he hasn't had one of these um he had one this morning my grandma gave him so i'm over here and eat it come on come on you're gonna eat it out of the pack you know exactly where it is come on sorry um 
So while he's eating that, um, I'm going to show you my finished objects. Now I will admit, I do have quite a few of the same things. Actually, I think they're all the same thing except for one. So I'm going to show you the odd ball out first, and that is Rose's sampler, mini sampler blanket. And wouldn't you know it, it's on the bottom of my bag. Okay, so I started this um, a while ago, and I had it in a um, cupcake, I think. But I realized to do a blanket, I wasn't going to have enough of the cupcake. So I decided to um, just put that one on hold and use worsted weight yarn. Now for this one, I used hot pink first. And then I figured, well, I'm just going to use up some of my random. I picked out two more colors to go with the pink. And so it's all pink. And the border is gray. So I'll make sure I got this right. So I did two rows of single crochet around the whole entire thing. And this is it. Um, let me try to back up a little bit here. So there is the top. And there's the rest of it. So I use three random balls of pink. I have no idea what they are. I used a six millimeter hook for that. Um, so I will have, well, it's not up yet. Um, so before I upload this to YouTube, I um, will upload the pattern to Ravelry or um, it will be in the description box below the link to the pattern if you would like to buy it. It is going to be five dollars. All of my patterns that I have over on Ravelry are five dollars. Um, the rest of them, the rest of my finished objects are wild Oleander coated scarves. I am slightly addicted to this pattern. I have made several of them. I have not sold any of them, but I decided that if none of them sell, um, then I will just keep them and give them to my church when I don't need to there. So, um, the first one I have is I finished this one. And I did pink and white French on it. They need to cut, I think. And then I did a pink and white um, row at the end. And this one's more of a... Uh, goes like this. And then you have all your fringe down here. And... So, that is what that one looks like. Um, Andrea's pattern is awesome. Like I said, I made quite a few of them. I made one in solid black. And this one's more of a cow one. Um, so this one I made in black. And this one and the gray one. I used an eight millimeter hook for it. Um, so I made that one. And the other ones I made using a six millimeter hook. So I made this one. I can get the band off of it. And I used um, loops and threads colors. And it was 5.7. 507.44 yards, 7.5 ounces, 464 meters, and 200 grams. And the colorway was Candy Drop. 
It is machine wash cold, gentle, do not bleach, dry flat, do not iron, dry clean. It supposedly says it's a number four, but when I was working with this, it was not a number four. It was more like a number three or a DK weight or whatever. So that is this one. I love how this one turned out. And that is what this one looks like. Um, it is gorgeous, I think. So, it's very, very soft. Very fuzzy, kinda. But it would definitely keep somebody warm. And I'm, I apologize now if you can hear my air conditioner. It's pretty warm in the house. My grandma had the windows open today, and the house, I think, got up to like 77, 78 degrees. So, the next one I finished is I used Shawl in a Ball, and this color is... I have a ball band. This colorway is Peaceful Earth. I used one whole ball of this. I had maybe five inches left, and it is 58% to cotton, 39% acrylic, and 3% other fiber. This one is, and trying to figure out how much was in here. Oh, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 481 yards, and 440 meters. Like I said, I literally had five inches left, and that was just enough to weave in my tail. So, this is this one. It is in shades of green and brown, and it is gorgeous. So, I have this one finished. Um, so, that's another one that I'm going to add to my shelf. And my last one is another Walt Orlander hooded scarf. As you can see, I have a problem making these. And this one is also in Shawl and a Ball. This one has sparkle in it. And this one is called, this curlway is called Mystical Mirage. And I got this one on sale at Walmart for $3.00. And I got the other one somewhere else for $1.50. I'm guessing Walmart. Um, same details. Um, this one's just called Mystical Mirage. So, here's the other one. And this one does have sparkle in it. You can't really... Probably can't tell. But it does. Can you see the sparkle? Not really. And that is all of my whips. Or my, not my whips, my finished objects. Now we are going to get into projects that I want to start tonight. Because I literally finished my last whip. Just seconds, or technically minutes, before I did this video. I have finished... The two Shawl in the Ball um, Wildlander hooded scarves today, well, technically last night, and I finished my Graham's blanket last night or this morning, just literally minutes before I made this video. Um, now I'm going to show you projects that I am going to start. I, for the last several projects, I have been keeping notes in this little binder about like. Um, what the project is, who it's by, the yarn I use, my hook, when I start it, and when I finish. Um, so, that's what I have been doing. Um, and I plan on doing another video down at my mom's on probably Monday night. Um, I'm supposed to be getting the stuff from my boyfriend on Monday. Then he just told me today that he forgot to put my birthday card in my package. So he's supposedly sending that out tomorrow. So hopefully I will get my package from him on Monday. And then I can actually show you what he got me. 
because he hasn't told me anything. He hasn't even told my mom anything. All he told me was yesterday he got me something glass and he hopes that it's in one piece when I get it. So that's it. So I'm really curious as to what he got me. I tried to think about it and I have no freaking clue what it is. So curiosity is really, really killing the cat here. Okay, so before I get into what I want to start, which is going to be more about only her hooded scarves, but I do want to show you um, the one thing that I um that I started, but I realized I was not going to have enough. So I got this um, cupcake on clearance at Joanne's. And it was $3.97. And it is in the colorway Robin A. Love the colors. It's very Eastery and spring. And so I started the blanket that I just showed you. Um, Rose's uh, mini sampler blanket. But this is how far I had gotten. And this is how much cake I have left. So my plan is to rip this out and make it narrow, narrower. I think I think I said that right. Make it more narrow, which I'm thinking like maybe to here, that would be a good size maybe, and make it into a wrap using my same stitch pattern, or I might add a, one or two different stitches in it. Not 100% sure yet, but that is my plan for this. Um this yarn um so i am going to frog it and i might do that after i do this video i'm not 100 percent sure but i do have an idea stuck in my head of a wrap that i want to do so we'll see exactly which gets done first okay so oh, there's my pen i keep a pen with my notebook but it sometimes falls off Okay, so, so far, I have yarn in here to do four Wild Alander hooded scarves. So, I have three skeins of this. This is Mainstays Blue Skies Varg. I have, I literally do have three, ep or three episodes. Where in the world did I get three episodes? I got three skeins of this, and I am going to pair it with white. Now, I'm going for a frozen one here, so I'm thinking that these colors kind of go for a frozen theme. So I have those that I want to start, probably tonight. I do have a pink skein in here, which I'm just going to throw over there. I also have in here two cupcakes that I plan on starting, um, a uh, Wild Alander hooded scarf, but I'm not sure if I want to start them or not. Um, I had I had a question that I posted on Facebook, but nobody has gotten back to me like at all. They had, um, they approved my post in the group, but I have had nobody comment on anything. One lady said she was following, but that's as far as I got. I would love to make. The Lost Souls Shawl. My thing is, is I would love to make it in mandala. Mandala or cupcakes. But I have a lot of one skein wonders. Like one skein of each of them. So I'm trying to decide if I could do a Lost Souls Shawl with one cake of mandala. And if I can, I would love to start some of those also. I also have a couple patterns that I printed out that I'm going to show you that one of these days, probably soon, I'm going to start. So this first one that I had out is Beach Ball. I would love to make a Lost Soul Shawl out of this, but I need somebody to tell me that I can get through one with just one cake. I also have this one at Street Lights. I cannot wait to start and work and get into that green in there. And I have one more in here, and this is Ferris Wheel. 
and this is imaginary garden. I would love to make a Lost Souls out of this. I have three of these cakes. So I have three of the imaginary garden and I also have three of the blue one. And Ferris wheel is three ounces, 85 grams, 270 yards, and 247 meters. It is 100% acrylic, it is machine washable and dryable, and it's a number four. And the cupcake is basically the same thing as Mandala. I think the cupcake has better colors than Mandala, but that's... I do love um, some of the colors of Mandala, but I'm a little iffy on some of them of Mandala. So this one is 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 590 yards, and 540 meters. Um, so that is what I want to start next. But I would love for those cupcakes to be lost soul shawls. But if I can't, then 9 chances out of 10, they are going to be, um, they're going to be waddle and hooded scarves. So, the patterns that I printed while I was here today, I printed, um, quite a few of them. So, I am, I am part of Hooked on Sunshine Facebook group, and I just love, love, love her patterns. Um, I have three of them that I have printed off. So the first one is I have the first four parts of Fe the Phoenix one, and I plan on starting one of these using my One Cake Wonders solids colors. Um, so I have the Phoenix one, so that's one of them I could do. I also have Little Prince Charming, I want to do the same thing with that one. And I also have Briar Rose. So I'm going to start one of them soon. I just haven't decided which one. I also printed off two Imigurumi patterns. And one of them is from a um, group. Her name is Sadie. And she is the designer behind Osage County Crochet. Now she had a thing um, a couple months ago where all of her paid for patterns were, which was 112 of them, was for $10. And I jumped on the wagon because I thought her patterns were really, really cute. She has lots of hat patterns and messy bun patterns. And um, she has ha um, hat patterns for ponytails, like for the two of them. She has those. Um, she has some stuffed animals. She has some um, cuddlers. Um, as a matter of fact, I printed some of her patterns last weekend when I was up here. But the one that I did this time was Wisteria the Witch. Isn't she adorable? And you even get the pattern for the little dragon and the pumpkin. I thought she was cute. I also printed off a pattern from Trifles and Treasures. Now, I have a lot of her patterns, and she is a great designer. Um, she, um, so the one I got is this little gnome. Um, everybody is into making little gnomes right now. It comes with the different hat options, like the little patriotic hat. Um, where is it at? Right here, comes with that one. Can't even see right there comes with that pattern. I think she even has different um, ways to do the hats and stuff. I just think they're adorable. Now, I do need to... Um, I would also like to start um, some pocket shells. But, all of my, like, full skein yarn is down at my mom's, so I'm not going to start any of those up here. Um... So those are the patterns that I printed off for, you know, mostly up here. Um, but if you can answer my question, and my question is, can you make a Lost Souls shawl out of one cake of mandala? If you can, I would love to know. And what size hook 
do should I use? I was thinking maybe like a five or maybe a four possibly. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what size hook I should use and even if it is possible. So um, I think I'm going to let you guys go. I think I'm going to get started on some of my, um, especially one or two of my patterns that I want to make. And I will talk to you guys probably on Monday. Monday wrestling comes on, so it'll probably be late like it is tonight. I forgot to tell you the day and the time. So it is the 20th of June. It is Saturday. And it is 2.49 in the morning where I am. Um, I also got birthday cards. I got five plus one from my brother. So, um, I will show those when I get down to my mom's. Um, another thing that's been going on is we might have to move again. Um, we sent my aunt that lives down in Florida, which is where we're staying in, um, her and my pap's mom's house right now. And... Um, we sent them down money for our part of the bills. Well, then they want more money now. So we're going to wait a couple months, um, see what we can find, see what we can figure out. And then if we can't figure anything out, then we're probably going to have to look for another place to live. Because my mom only gets like 900 and some dollars a month and... We've already had to send her down 283, but now she wants two more 183 more dollars. So right there is almost $500. So we might have to find another place to live. But right now we're just holding it in and try to figure out, you know, what we can pay and all of that. So I will keep you guys updated. And, um, I will talk to you guys again, probably, like I said, Monday, Monday night, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye guys.